So today on Exploring Scotland's History, we're back out in the canoe, going to make the most of this stunning weather. So we're just at the little loch beside us, Loch Edith, and there's a couple of wee ancient bits of history and myth as we go round. See you a bit later. We've stopped off here, which is Dunmore. Unfortunately, we have a rather nice pylon, but there are also ancient earthworks, which indicate that there was life here at some stage. Medieval is what the archaeologists presume as they have found green glazed pottery. It's quite a commanding view right up the loch. That is Tainot Pier at the end. Opposite us is Bonnaw Quarry and it is presumed that obviously the electricity and the quarrying has removed most of the old mott. It is presumed to have been a castle and that's one direction and that's down the other way. You get quite a commanding view here. If it wasn't for that ugly pylon, I think I'd be happy enough living here. Footage may be a bit wibbly, we're still out in the canoe. We have stopped at this headland that I'll do some pans of. It's called Rue Verde and Draking. I shall put the Gaelic along here because pronunciation out the window. Um, there are irregular boffies um, have been listed on here. The island does have association with the daughter of the King of Ulster who allegedly fled here with one of the sons of the Earl of Ardhattan. I would imagine that would be the Deirdre of the Sorrows story that we told you when we went up to the Deirdre Monument in a previous video. It's really quite a stunning afternoon out on the water. This is a little uninhabited island on Loch Edith. It's just opposite the quarry. Um, herons are very favourably breeding on the loch and with little places like this, I'm sure they get a lot of peace and quiet to do it. There are the said herons up for a flight. Right, last we stop of the day, we are at Kelly's Pier. Kelly's Pier was built between 1752 and 1753. Um, it was named after Alexander Kelly of Bonau. He had taken over the iron furnace in 1863. The main pier is made of granite and it was used for berthing the ore shifts from Cumbria. Now, at the end, I've taken some sunset pictures from the Rotten Timbers, but they are more of a Victorian addition, and they were for the steam pleasure boats that would have come up onto the lock in Queen Victoria's time. So, that was another sunny afternoon with Exploring Scotland's History. If you like what you saw, please subscribe, press the bell icon, and you can catch me on the next little roam about. Um, I also have a Facebook page and Instagram of the same name, Exploring Scotland's History. Thank you for watching. <laughs>